All right, here we want to take the derivative of this uh, function, f of t, cube root of t over t minus three. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, rewrite the top as t to the one third power. <clears throat> and then we're going to go ahead and apply quotient rule. So just a reminder of how quotient rule works. Uh, quotient rule. And basically it helps us take the derivatives of fractions. So let's say I want to, um, in general, have a function that looks like um, u of t over v of t. Then if I wanna find the derivative, then what I'm gonna do is take the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the derivative of the bottom times the top all over the bottom squared. All right, so that's quotient rule. Uh, okay, excellent. So let's go ahead and apply it to our function. So we want to go down here now and go ahead and solve it for our expression. So f prime of t uh, is going to be the derivative of the top so that we're gonna use power rule. So we'll get one third t to the minus two thirds times the bottom, which is t minus three. That's a denominator. Uh, then I'm gonna subtract and take the derivative of the bottom. Well, the derivative of t minus three is just one. And then we multiply by the top. And then we go all over the bottom squared. So that is your derivative. We can take a, uh, or do our hand at cleaning it up a little, see if it cleans up nice. Sometimes it cleans up nice, sometimes it doesn't. But let's try to take a look and see what we can do to clean this thing up. Uh, okay, so first let's go ahead and um, distribute um, the uh, left term, the one third t to the minus two thirds, distribute over t minus three. Let's just see if that helps us out. If we do that, we'll get one third um, and then t to the one third. Um, and let's get my pen to work here. There we go. Okay, so that's the first part of the distribution. Then we're going to distribute the minus three. So the minus three times a third is just one. And then we'll get t to the minus two thirds. And then we still have a minus t to the one third. So it looks like we can combine those t to the one thirds on top. Um, all right, let's try that. Let's see what happens next. We're gonna go ahead and just clean up a little bit more again. Uh, we're, we have already solved it, but let's just see, have a little fun and clean it up a little bit. I have one third t to the one third um, minus t to the one third, that'll be minus two thirds, um, minus two thirds t to the one third, um, minus t to the minus two thirds, all over t minus three squared. Uh, okay, so again, we have already solved it, um, but the rest will just be fun kind of tricks to clean it up a bit. So one way to clean up kind of a messy uh, situation with powers, especially negative powers, is to multiply um, everything top and bottom by um, basically the positive version of that negative one. So we're gonna multiply everything by t to the two thirds. And you'll see what happens if we do this. So it's pretty cool. And what I'll do is that that will help us get rid of any um, negative, um, you know, any negative exponent. So pretty cool. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna distribute um, this t to the two thirds over both parts of the top. So when we do that, we'll get minus two thirds. And this is cool. 
because I add exponents, so I get t to the one third plus t to the two thirds, and that becomes just t. So that's really cool. Then when I multiply t to the minus two thirds times t to the two thirds, and I add the exponents, I get t to the zero, so we just get minus one. So that really cleaned up nicely. But we do have a t to the two thirds on the bottom, so I'll go ahead and add it to the bottom. And there we have it. And um, the last thing we can do if we want to um, just clean it up slightly is multiply top and bottom by three. And what that does is it just gets rid of that fraction in the fraction. And then we have, I guess it looks prettier this way. It's no different than the original, but it does have kind of a nice, nice compact feel to the answer. So um, this is as cleaned up as I think it's going to get with me. <laughs> and uh, anyway, that was a fun problem. Hopefully it helped. Have a wonderful day.